We are on the bus here to debark. It's a bumpy old ride. We've seen we've seen some arguments, haven't we guys? Yep. Arguments. Fights. Well, conductor, wasn't that fights. Lots of fights, but it's okay now. Um, I don't, I'm not sure, but I don't think this is a luxury option. Uh, <laughs> My ass and my knees a bit sore. Uh, what, Graham? Comments. Oh, what's the luxury option? <laughs> Standing. Have eyes right. Can't find the perfect plan. Neighbors should be there for one another. That's when good neighbors become. I'm here in the hotel room in Debark, um, as if things don't get more insane after that insane bus ride, but um, uh, well here's the room and then just have a look at this, this town. There's the beautiful hills, but it's basically a slum town. A couple of big hills, there's no building, I don't think. Down there. And you come out here. There's Graham. Say hello to the folks back home. Hello, folks back home. Hello, folks. Hello. That was the voice of Graham. He's in a bad way. Oh, John. <laughs> and you can see. Rooftops galore. People going about their daily business. This might be our mule here. We'll call him uh, Francis the talking mule. I'm sure Ben Greenwell will appreciate that. There's lots of activity, people just standing around. Looking for a second one, I guess. It's a bit of a buck mule. Tried to run away before. As you can see, there's a crowd everywhere. Just waiting to start, basically. That's our cook. She's the cook. And, uh, Another guide is at home. As you can see, a few people with guns here. There's our guide. You can tell by the. People just watching. It's That's probably the other meal there. They are weighing our stuff to see. Because <laughs> there's a limit, 45 kilo per meal, so we'd see how many meals we need. 
35 and a half. The last one's 34 and a half, that's 35 and a half. So we can take another 10 kilo. Do we have anything else to go on? 15 roughly. Yeah, well there's all the food now in a box. Yeah, that's going to be what does it. We haven't been including food. Or the box. There you go our mules, off into the distance towards Geech Camp. We're standing here, we're just waiting for Neela and then we'll be heading on our way. Off they go, up the hill. I'm paying for two mule handers but they appear to be four or five. Off they go into the distance. For that mountain, like Mountain, like Sweet, We have been more of a technical feel. Is it? This, I don't know. If it is, it'll feel more tech, more difficult, but after tomorrow it'll be, it gets easier. Cool. I think. I think <laughs> go, 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 go around him, you can get around him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and the goal. Oh, I'll get the. I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, yes. Yes. You could use your hands. Okay, come, come. Oh, that's nice. 
Day two of our trek. We've come maybe 2k I reckon. Over that ridge there and down and up and down this Geech camp where we came from and over here somewhere. Oh no I've gone too far. Up there, there they are. Two tits on the horizon. And here's Neela and our scout. And cut. Oh, not a chance now you said that. <laughs> oh. A bit louder for the camera, thanks. I'm here, I'm on the top of Imekogo, which I believe is 3,926 metres. Yes. That's right. I'm almost dead. Rash Dashen? Or that one? No. Which one? This one? Third tallest mountain in Africa. Third or fourth? Hmm? Fourth. Fourth tallest? Four thousand. Fourth fourth tallest? Tallest? Highest? Uh yeah. yeah. In Africa, yeah. And here at 4,000 metres, what do you do? You graze your, your sheep. There's Neela. She's ridding herself for the final ascent. 4,070 metres. This is really mean. Oh, they're just tying him up. This is our dinner. <laughs> <laughs> this all doesn't know. Either that, I'm just saying it's the pet shook, right? And um, they take it everywhere they go just for, for you know. Friendship and companionship. <laughs> They're about to kill them. Come on, kill it. I've got the camera going. When you say you don't get, do you mean you don't see them or you just don't understand them? No, no. We don't see them. They don't, they're not programmed on our, on our shows. Are you filming us now? I sure am. <laughs> over here, the chicken. Over here, the Canadians. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I'm going to go from one to the other and the viewer has to guess which is which. <laughs> It is the morning of the third day of the trek. We're about to be joined by a new member. We call him Jim, Lucky Jim. Wait, no, that's just Graham. Who cares about the bird? Can you never? Can you get it with, the, with your telephone? Just above it. Just above the object. See it? <laughs> with the huts. Oh yeah. Actually, that's a really good photo. That's what I thought. Well, there's a lovely little village down there. Well, it's lovely that is. Oh, I've gone Scottish. Day three, we're stopped for lunch. Somewhere between Chenik and Sankabar. Hopefully a couple of hours we need to go. And here, our mules have caught up with us. And they're just readjusting something. I don't know what. Oh, I could go with Pepsi. Oh, oh there goes our packs down the road. Stop. Definitely not a meal of the day. What's up, Francis? Francis is hungry. He's having a lunch stop too. 
So these blokes must be our mule handlers. And this man here in the blue ill-fitting turban is none other than Jim Spriggs Moriarty. Oh. This is Eccles, the brain's behind. What, what, what? <laughs> These are my feet. There's a kid doing a sling. There are some cows. There's Graham's head. This is the hill we must climb up to Sankabar camp at the end of day three. It's just over the edge there, there's the road and you can see you can't see really but uh, it's a hell of a climb. Were you not going to take a picture of the stars? Nila, you can see her now because of the fire. Mother over there with his baby. Oh. just started. I've had a few issues about the cook and he's coming with us.